Evaluating exponents in your expressions require you to know the laws of exponents. So we have seven laws here that we can include in our simplification for our problems in a little while. So if I have an exponent of 1, x to the 1 is simply x. So if I have an example, like a numerical example, 7 raised to 1 is simply 7. And for any number raised to 0, your answer will be 1. So in this example, if I have 23 raised to 0, it is simply 1. Now, if you have a negative exponent, you are just taking the reciprocal of your expression. So if you have x to the negative 1, it is simply 1 over x. And in, the, in our example, if you have 2 raised to negative 1, it will be changed into 1 over 2 or 1 half. Now, in multiplying exponent, this is one of the important things that you need to understand, that when you're multiplying two expressions with the same variable, all you have to do is to add their exponents. So x to the m times x to the n is simply x to the m plus n. That's why if I have x squared times x to the fifth, 2 plus 5 is 7, so the expression is simplified as x raised to 7. And in dividing expression with exponents, you subtract the numerator's exponent by the denominator's exponent. So if I have x to the m divided by x to the n, it is simply x raised to m minus n. So if I have x to the 6 divided by x squared, you subtract 6 and 2, so you'll have x to the 4th. And this one, number 6, is power raised into a power. So if you have x raised to m raised to n, all you have to do is to multiply these two numbers. So x to the m times n will be your simplest form. So this is the difference between number 4 and number 6, when to add exponents and when to multiply exponents. And on number 6, we are multiplying because we have a power raised into a power. Example is x squared raised to 5. So in this expression, to simplify x squared raised to 5, you need to multiply 2 and 5. That, therefore, we have x raised to 10. And for number 7, exponent can be distributed to your expression. So if I have x, y raised to n, you distribute n to x and n to y. That's why you have x to the n times y to the n. So if I have 5x or quantity 5x raised to 2, I distribute 2 to 5 and 2 to x. So 5x raised to 2 is simply 25x squared. Now let's have some expression and let's simplify some expressions using the laws of exponents that we had a while ago. So for number 1, we have quantity 5x raised to 0. And we know by the law of exponent that any number or any expression raised to 0 will turn into 1. So number 1 will simply be 1. So no matter how big or small your expression is, if you raise it to 0, it's always going to be 1. So it's not 0, it's 1. So for number 2, we have 2x times x. So in multiplying variable with or expression with the same variable, all you have to do is to add the exponent of your variable. So you have 2 times x raised to 1 plus 1 because we know that we have an exponent of 1 in both x's. So our final answer will be 2x squared. Now for number 3, we're using the product rule of exponent m cubed times m, we know that we have an exponent of 1 for m, so we're adding exponents to simplify number 3. So we have m raised to 3 plus 1. So therefore, m is equal to, or the simplest form of this expression is m to the fourth. So remember, when you're multiplying variables or the same variables with different exponents, you add them up. But when you are raising um, an expression to another exponent, you're going to multiply them. So let's add the fourth example. We have 2x squared raised to 3, or quantity 2x squared raised to 3. So you distribute 3 to 2, and you distribute 3 to x squared. So we'll have 2 cubed times x raised to 2 times 3 by the rule of exponents, or the law of multiplying exponents. So 2 cubed is simply 8, and x raised to 2 times 3 is 6. So the simplest form of this expression 
is 8x to the 6. For example number 5, we are multiplying two expressions. So to simplify the expression, we need to use the law of exponents again. So I, what I did is I separated each term, my constant term, and my variables. So I have 5 times 3 as my first term. I have x times x squared as my second term, and y times y cubed as my third term. And simplifying each term, 5 times 3 is 15, x raised to 1 plus 2 is x cubed, and y raised to 1 plus 3 is y to the fourth. So one good technique in simplifying expressions using exponents is to separate each terms that are alike or the same variable so that you won't get confused which one you need to multiply and which one you need to add. And for number six, I am multiplying 2x squared to 3x to the fourth y cubed. So once again, I am separating each term. I'm multiplying 2 and 3. I'm multiplying x squared and x to the fourth. However, y doesn't have anything to multiply it with, so I'm just copying y cubed. And simplifying it, 2 times 3 is 6. x raised to 2 plus 4 is x to the sixth. And y cubed is simply y cubed. And just put them all together to uh, make it look neat. So we have 6x to the sixth y cubed. And common error that most students do is simplifying x to the sixth and y cubed. Remember, you cannot combine variables that are different. So this one will just be x, uh, x to the sixth and y cubed. You cannot add them up using the law of exponent. So we have more examples, and the examples that you're seeing right now are in form of fractions. So when you see fractions, it's basically division, so you're using the division law of exponent. So if I have 2y to the ninth divided by 2y cubed, the law states that you have to subtract the exponent of your numerator to your um, exponent of your denominator to simplify your expression. So we know that 2 divided by 2 is simply 1, and y raised to 9 minus 3 will be your simplest form for the second, second term. So you have 9 minus 3, which is 6. So the simplest form of this fraction is y to the 6. So just remember the law and apply the law, and you'll be able to simplify the expression. And for number 8, we are using two laws. The first law would be the division law of exponent raised into a power. So an exponent raised to another power. So what we can do is we can distribute 3 to the numerator and denominator. That's why we have x raised to 2 times 3 and y raised to 5 times 3. And simplifying your expression, 2 times 3 is 6 and 5 times 3 is 15. So x to the 6 all over y to the 15th will be your simplest form and you cannot apply any other law in this point because they have different variables. And for number 9, we have x to the 5th, y to the 5th, all over y to the 2nd. Between x and y, we know that we can only simplify y because there's no x with your denominator. So I'm just copying x to the 5th, and I, I'm subtracting 5 and 2 using the law of exponent. So my simplest form for this fraction will be x raised to 5 and y cubed.